What's going on guys? My name is Jeff and this is Premium Aquatics and today we're taking a look at the Aquarium Masters heaters. I hope everybody is having a fantastic day and if you're new to what we're doing here this is where we take a look at new products each and every week to help you make an informed decision on what is right for you your reef tank and your budget so if you're new to the channel make sure you hit that subscribe button and the bell so you can be notified every time that we upload a new video now today we're taking a look at the aquarium masters heaters which are available at premium aquatics so let's jump into it right folks so today we're taking a look at two different heaters from aquarium masters one of them is a very budget friendly option and one of them has a few more features at a additional cost let's start off with the budget friendly quartz heater now this comes in three different sizes you have the 100 watt which is good up to 35 gallons the 200 watt is going to cover you up to 60 gallons and the 300 watt is going to cover you up to a 90 gallon aquarium now some of the reasons why you may have a quartz heater kicking around and i have a very good example of something that happened to me this past winter so in my nano tank i had a heater that heater actually malfunctioned notice that the fish was acting a little sluggish and had a backup heater kicking around it was a very inexpensive heater that was just sitting on a shelf waiting for something to happen and having that backup that extra layer of redundancy for my aquarium i was able to act very quickly and take that heater out of the box and put it into my nano tank and that is a great example of why you would want to have a backup quartz inexpensive heater kicking around all right so let's take a look at the quartz heater this is the 100 watt model it is fully submersible it also has precision adjustments and is safe and reliable let's see what we got inside good amount of bubble wrap in that package that's not something that you see very often that comes with heaters that's really really well packed wow very impressed with the packing on this product that is above and beyond very very impressed all right so it's a very simple design and right here you can see that precision setting for your heater so you can dial that right in to get that exact temperature that you are looking for all right so you have the box awesome packing very impressed with that packing uh, you have the suction cups for mounting the heater they just clip on very easily so you can either put that on the bottom of the tank like so typically it's how i do my heaters or you could have it vertically uh, depending on how you basically want to have your heater in your aquarium so it feels very rugged it's a very very rugged glass um, and I like the precision control on the top. These suction cups feel like they would definitely uh, stick and make sure that that heater stays in place. You have a good length of cord to go with it. And that is the Aquarium Masters Quartz Heater. Very, very impressed with this heater. Um, like I said before, it's a great idea to always have a backup kicking around to make sure that if something bad were to happen, uh, you have that inexpensive redundancy plan for your aquarium. It never hurts to have an extra heater kicking around because heaters are the most likely to fail piece of equipment in your aquarium. All right, so we're going to take a look at the Smart Temp Plus next. We're going to move that off to the side here. So this one has a few more bells and whistles. Um, one thing that I actually, when I was doing research for this, I saw that it has a remote, which is pretty awesome. Um, so let's open this up and take a look at it. Obviously, kind of the same idea as the quartz heaters. You have the three different models. You have the 100 watt, the 200 watt, and the 300 watt. And again, the 100 watt is for your 35 gallon aquariums or up to your 35 gallon aquariums the 200 watt is up to 60 gallons and the 300 watt will handle up to 90 gallon aquariums so let's open this up and take a look at what we have again we have that amazing pack job right on top you have your warranty your instructions manual all that good safety information that comes with a heater i just absolutely love this packing that is really just 
great. One thing that I'm kind of noticing about this guy, it has a very small footprint. You also have the ability to control the heater from this button right here so you don't even have to put your hands in the tank and make an adjustment like you would with the quartz heater. Uh, you can actually make the adjustments to the heater from outside the aquarium not only with this button right here but you also have a remote control for it. Uh, this heater has the ability to recognize when it is exposed to air. So let's say that you have it in a sump and for hopefully not but let's say for instance that your sump actually runs dry because of a leak or there is some type of clog in your overflow and this heater is not going to burn itself out it would actually recognize that the water is depleted and shut off which is pretty amazing another great thing about this heater is you have the ability to have the suction cups on both sides of the heater so you essentially can accomplish a couple different things with that one you could have it facing on the bottom which if you're able to see the digital readout is not a problem but for some people it might be better for them to have that suction cup on the front of the heater and actually have that readout up against the glass so you can see what's going on with the heater at all times so this thing has a ton of cord very interested in seeing how this operates this little push button control that's built into the wiring and then this remote this thing is too neat i need to get it set up in the aquarium and take a look at it so you can see right here the dual readout so the current set temp of the heater is 95 degrees obviously that's way too high and the temperature of this water which this is my auto top off reservoir is 75 degrees and you can see that this red light here means that it is actively heating so what i'm going to do now is set up the remote control and see if i can make any adjustments to this to get it to drop that temperature from 95 down to an acceptable range like 80 to 78 degrees Uh, so it's really just a one button deal and you can see that number going up as I push the button. So as far as the thermometer setting, it seems pretty easy to do. You just hit the button and it automatically increases to about a range. There you go. There it is. So literally it's as simple as this button. You don't even have to touch the heater if you want to make an adjustment. Just hit the button. It'll start blinking. And then once you hit the button after that, it will continue to go as high as it goes which is 95 down to 68 and then you can bring it back to an acceptable range you just let it sit there and blink for a couple of seconds then it sets the heater for 80 degrees the thermostat is saying that this water is 76 degrees so it is actively heating the water and then you also have that same ability to be able to control the heater with this button right here so I can't really get it in frame So you see I got my thumb on the button, move my hand out of the way, and it acts exactly the same way as the remote, which is pretty helpful. You can hear me clicking the button, and it's changing that temperature. Operates the same exact way as the remote. That's a pretty awesome and unique heater function. Uh, that hopefully a lot more heaters start kind of going towards because that would be tremendously helpful to be able to set your heater to the appropriate temperature depending on the time of year just basically not even put your hands in the tank you're not taking the heater out of the water you don't have to unplug it wait for it to cool down then pull it out of the water so it doesn't crack very very awesome little gadget the smart temp plus all right folks that's going to do it for today's video i want to thank you for joining me if you want to take a look at these heaters there's going to be a link down in the description below which will bring you to premium aquatics where you can do some more research or even pick one up for yourself i want to thank you guys for joining me and i will see you next time right here with a brand new video